Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial for the MMO7 programming software. This video will highlight and explain all the software features that are available for this product. To access the software, click on the MMO7 icon in the system tray and left click Profile Editor. The software opens on the product page, giving you a summary of the software and access to our blog. The settings page allows you to configure DPI, precision aim and lighting options. There are four DPI modes on the product. Pressing the DPI cycle button on the device will display the current value in the UI. To make a DPI adjustment, select the mode, then click and drag the slider and click apply to accept. Precision aim is also included on the MMO7. The function is assigned to the in-press of the 5D button. Moving the slider to the right will decrease the sensitivity of the cursor when the precision aim button is pressed. The MMO7 incorporates RGB LEDs underneath the left and right mouse buttons. These LEDs allow an extra level of customization and serve to indicate the action lock status. When an action lock button is pressed, clicking the associated main mouse button once will make it behave as if it is constantly held down. Clicking the main mouse button again will release the constant button input. The default colour indicates that the mouse can be used normally as you would expect. Action lock off indicates that an action lock button has been clicked, but neither the left or right mouse buttons are active. Action lock on indicates that an action lock button has been pressed and that the corresponding mouse button has been clicked, resulting in constant input to the PC. This is useful for controlling character and camera movements in game. To customize the colors, left click the color indicator you want to change. You can either click the colour directly from the swatch or tweak the colour using the RGB sliders. When you are happy with your colour, click OK. Clicking the reset button will revert the colours back to their factory defaults. The programming page allows you to program keyboard assignments and macros to the programmable buttons on the MMO7. These are then saved as profiles. This area tells you what profile is currently open for editing. The callouts correspond to a programmable button on the device. These buttons indicate which profile mode is selected for editing. Profiles usually contain three modes, allowing each button to have up to three different commands assigned to it. Modes can be selected by pressing the Mode Cycle button on the device. The MMO7 has three additional shift modes that can be accessed by pressing the Shift button. This is located on the pinky rest area of the device. These buttons change the edit view, allowing access to all 13 programmable buttons. This is the Shift Lock button. When it contains a padlock, you have to press the MMO shift button once to switch to the shifted mode and then press it again to go back to the normal mode. When you click the UI button to remove the padlock, you will have to press and hold the MMO shift button to maintain access to the shift mode. Clicking this button will activate the current profile you have been editing. To make a simple assignment such as M for map, Click inside the button callout to activate the programming cursor. Press M on your keyboard and then click the green tick. Then type the name of the command and hit enter to confirm. If I want to put the command onto a different button, click the menu triangle and then select unprogrammed. Then click the menu triangle on the desired button callout and left click the command name. For more complex commands such as selecting an action bar using the keyboard combo shift 2, you need to make an advanced command. To do this, click on the menu triangle and select advanced command. 
give the command a name and then click inside the press area. Using your keyboard, perform the keyboard command exactly as you would do in game. The editor will record both the down and up press of your keys. Clicking the macro box will cause the command to be output as soon as the program button is pressed. Otherwise, you will have to hold the button for the duration of the command. If you want to speed things up, right click inside the press box and select quantize time. Now enter the delay between each down and up press and click OK. Any commands in the repeat box will be output if the program button is held down. Any commands in the release box will be output on the up press of the programmed button. Click OK to accept the command. When you are happy with the profile, save your progress. You can also check your commands are correct by opening the test screen. The MMO7 comes with over 15 profiles for some of the most popular MMO games currently available. Using the methods described earlier, you can arrange the game commands in the layout of your choice. You now have a custom profile ready to activate and use in-game. Once your profile has been saved, it will appear in the MMO7 menu. To activate the profile, left-click the profile name. The MMO7 icon will glow green when a profile is active. To deactivate a profile, click the menu and click Clear Profile. Once the profile has been activated, you can now start the associated game. The support page contains a number of useful links, including drivers and software, game profiles, a detailed manual and our contact page. This concludes the tutorial for the MMO7 Gaming Mouse.